Welcome to Moments of Spring, a streaming concert presented by the Bay Area Chapter of NACUSA, the National Association of Composers USA. No tickets are required for this event. However, we encourage you to make a donation in any amount to San Francisco's Center for New Music, which is streaming our concert video this evening. The center offers valuable support to the Bay Area's new music community, providing space for concerts, rehearsals, and recording sessions, as well as support for live and pre-recorded concert streaming. We hope you'll support their work. Moments of Spring features a wide variety of works by nine composer members from the Bay Area and Oregon. Immediately after the event, everyone is invited to join us for a post-concert Zoom session with the composers and members of NACUSA San Francisco. Login information for the Zoom sessions appears in the notes below the video. Enjoy the concert.
Hi, I'm Mary Feynman, and the piano work I wrote and perform here is called Savlanut. It's a word in modern Hebrew which translates as patience or endurance. I encountered this term while learning about a spiritual practice called Musar, part of a Jewish tradition that addresses soul traits or virtues. I learned a further refinement of that definition from teacher Estelle Frankel, who called Savlanut the ability to tolerate or stay with the present moment, the capacity to stay with discomfort. I was already writing this work when I was struck by the music's own internal unrest. It wanted to cut itself in half, to hurry, to rush straight to the party, C major, to be anywhere but where it was. It seemed to embody the many difficulties of staying still, of being uncomfortable. I based the opening motive on three chords I borrowed from a song of mine, then did a long improvisation, which I then sculpted into this piece. I'm a new member here and just happy to be able to share my work. Thank you.
The next piece, 15 Variations on Fragments of a Schubert Theme, is not a theme and variations work in the classical sense, in which the underlying harmonic structure of the theme is elaborated on in different ways. Think of Bach's Goldberg Variations, for example. Rather, as the title indicates, I simply extracted fragments from the Schubert theme, which is the opening section of this piano sonata in A major, opus 120, and elaborated on them in a variety of ways, either melodically or harmonically or rhythmically, but often without reference to the underlying harmonies. The theme is stated at the outset. Most of the variations are tonal, and they're all in different but related keys. Here is Libby Kardonchik to play the 15 variations on fragments of the Schubert theme.
Hello, I'm John Bellotta. The next work on the program is Adept in Wyoming, an electronic score I wrote and which was choreographed and performed by the Agnieszka Alaska Dance Company in 2015. This event was co-sponsored by the Cascadia Composers Chapter of Nakusa in Portland, Oregon. Enjoy.
I'm Carl Schmidt, composer of Sonatina in Blue, and the saxophone clarinetist on the performance of the piece you're about to see. My good friend Benjamin Ballou is the pianist. In many jazz or swing big band arrangements, the reed players are required to double or switch between saxophones and clarinet. I thought it would be fun to write a crossover quasi-jazz classical piece with the same requirement. The opening and closing motif is based on a blues theme, hence Sonatina in Blue. Hope you enjoy it.
Hi, I'm John McGrew, and the piece is Three Haikus. I wrote this piece while I was taking a piano improv course and mentioned the instructor I didn't particularly care for art songs. He was the type of instructor that if you didn't like something, you immediately assigned to do it. So he assigned me a, a list of haikus to write art songs with. I picked three haikus that reminded me of the high Sierras where I had worked as a young man and proceeded to write art songs with. But I made sure to not use any of the techniques that I was studying out of obstinacy of being assigned a piece that I didn't want to do. It actually turned out pretty good, which just goes to show that I can learn in spite of myself.
Hello, I'm John Beeman, the composer of our opera, Ishii. I'm Carla Brooke, and I wrote the libretto of the opera. The opera tells the story of Ishii, who is the last survivor of the Yahi people. Ishii came out of hiding, barely alive, in 1911, and was brought to San Francisco by two anthropologists, Krober and Waterman. He lived the rest of his life at the Museum of Anthropology in San Francisco. In this scene, Ishii attends the Orpheum Theater, where he hears Lily Lena sing. We hope you enjoy this virtual performance from Scene 1, Act 2 of our opera, Ishii. Forget that useless barker He will soon go away And Miss Lily Lena Will fill this theater With sweet music John. 
can this be true? Let me call you sweetheart. No, never. Let me I know call you sweetheart. No one I'm in love. like this Ooh. before. Only my mother and sister's voices So 